Hey, Rover, I'm back. My master is super strict before our performances. He wants us to give our all for the people of Jinjo. Can't disappoint them. Hmm. Let's begin with the history of this tradition. Lion dance shows started as a way to cheer up returning soldiers and boost their morale before battles. It evolved over time into a way to boost soldiers' spirits before battle, symbolizing courage and the hope for victory. Later on, it transformed into the festive performance we see today. But it's still about keeping bad luck away, dispelling fear, and passing prosperity and protection to future generations. Beishi got hit pretty hard during the attack, and she probably blanked out for a bit. Then, perhaps her brain made up some fake memories about that creepy jingle beast to fill in the... Beiji wanted to kill the jingle beast to help his sister. Indeed, getting rid of the thing she fears could work. But that won't solve the real issue. Like we heard on our way here, the scary beast comes with many different names. We can defeat the jingle beast now, but another twinkle beast could appear later. It's not enough to just defeat that one jingle beast. One must have the courage to take on any beasts. That's why I want to help Beishi overcome her fear with our lion dance performance. As the lion dance evolved, it picked up various new styles and elements, which hold unique significance to each person. Our goal is to create a customized performance that truly benefits Beishi. Okay, gotta go prep now. See you at tomorrow's lion dance show. Sorry, but this is a staff-only area? Oh, it's Rover. Hello. Ling Yang's busy getting ready for the performance, so we can't meet you. Anything you want to say, I'll pass it along to him. There you are. It's been quite a while since I last saw a Grand Lion Dance show like this. I'm so excited about it. Rover, do you know what the secret is about the Jingle Beast Ling Yang was talking about? Oh, the show's beginning! Ha! <laughs> 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 
Fancy seeing you here. Shang and I have been discussing our choices, and we still want to give the settlement ceremony a try. Besides, things were a little rushed, and we aren't really ready yet. So we've decided to postpone our wedding. We'll choose a good date later. Aw, oh, that's so sweet. Did you learn that from Ling Yang? But I didn't expect this lion dance show to be so big. This is probably the first time I've watched such a big show ever since I met Shang. Yeah, I can't wait for it to start. thinking about the show we just watched. What an amazing show. I'd say it rivals the shows in my time. The new lion dancer they picked really did a great job. Our future is in good hands with these youngsters. chased by a big creature in the wilderness. All I could hear was a bell ringing and my only thought was to run away. Then I heard about the Jingle Beast, so I figured it must have been what attacked me. But when I saw you perform today, it all came back to me. That's the same bell ringing sound I had heard back then. So, I must have been saved by that bell. The bell that sounded like it was chasing after me. It was actually guiding me away from danger. The lion dance inspires and empowers each person in a unique way. I'm glad my performance could give you courage and inspiration. Yeah! your performance. I think I can keep working as an explorer for the Pioneer Association now. Beishi, that's amazing. When you joined the association, I was actually so proud. I'm happy you get to keep chasing your dreams. 
and um, please forgive me. I am upset because you never told me anything. You always carried the burden alone. You didn't even tell me you were going to go kill the Jingle Beast. Don't you ever do something like that again. I promise, I promise. Let me treat you to something as my sincere apology. I know a nice food stall. It's right up ahead in the square. You should check it out. Awesome. Beishi, let's go. Rover, how was my performance? Did you like it? Hmm. Guess I still need to hone my skills a bit more. You're making me blush, Rover. Anyway, I'm super glad to hear that from you. Rover, thank you so much for your help. I couldn't have accomplished any of this without you. Yeah, sure. Let's talk somewhere more private. Rover, let's talk here. Where should I begin? Rover, have you ever thought about this? Since there are humans with resonance abilities, then could there ever be beasts with the same kind of power? Uncontrolled emotions in human resonators lead to disasters. It's even more dangerous in beasts, as they follow instincts. Over time, most of them died out, driven extinct by their unrestrained desires. Beasts that can bring their power under control are extremely rare, but they do exist. And the Jingle Beast, it happens. A long, long time ago, the Jingle Beast wasn't called the Jingle Beast. It used to have a name. It was called Swan Ni. Back then, the Swan Nis lived a tranquil life in deep forests. However, when the Tacit Fields expanded rapidly, their territories were not spared. Some of them had to encroach upon certain human territories for a chance to survive. Humans suffered greatly against the Swanees with their terrifying appearance, powerful resonance abilities, and wild animal instincts. And that's why the Swanees were deemed evil. Uh, I read it in an old book in Huanglong. Said they lived under that giant violet banyan tree in the dim forest. The Swanese have nearly gone extinct over the years. And now, there might be only one of them remaining. And... I've heard of an interesting theory from the archaeologists. That last Swanee might have yearned to become a human. To make itself more approachable, it first came up with a less intimidating name. Something like the Jingle Beast. 
And then it yanked off all its fur, filed down its claws, twisted its bones, and learned to stand upright. Maybe it was drawn by the bustle and merriment of human cities. It must have been lonely as the last of its kind. Maybe it was moved by human bravery against the lament and wanted to offer help. Maybe it wanted to fight the catastrophe that ruined its once homeland. Or maybe it simply couldn't resist human foods. Anyway, it never really became a human in the end. If it truly wanted to become human, it had to first understand the essence of what makes a human. If you ask me, the essence would be the heart of a human. Therefore, the Jingle Beast no longer rejected its appearance and began to, in its animal form, connect with humans to assist them. Perhaps, in this process, it happened to save a girl in the wilderness. Rover, what do you think the ending for the Jingle Beast was? Did it finally become a human? Well, is that what you think? I think the Jingle Beast no longer cares whether it's a human or a beast. It lives in its own way. In this world, there are beings with the appearance of a beast and the soul of a human, just as there are beings with the appearance of a human and the soul of a beast. All it needs to do is be true to itself. It will remain resolute and convey the beautiful and inspiring qualities it once saw in humans in its own way. Oops, I got carried away and almost forgot. Here, keep this bell as a memento. Thank you, Rover. Ling Yang, come here. Coming. Rover, I must go get the props ready for the next show. Come watch my performance again next time. Food's on me. Please keep this bell. It should bring you good luck. Fare thee well, blessing swell. Another day, another heroic me!